This is it. This is it. Big dog about to take down some bitches. I mean, I mean no offense, man. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. That's, that's a fucked up metaphor, man. Come on in here, man. The point is, man, your boy LD is about to become King LD. Yeah. Old school OG, new wave, big dog, sneaky motherfucking king of the castle OG. That's who you looking at. And you, you one of the nights of my round table. A serious night. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon drive a low rider. We about to peel his bitch ass for him. And you know what? He ain't even no dragon. He's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak so fast, he won't even know what hit him. You feel me? Damn, I should write these metaphors down. You boy a straight poet. Hey, you know my boy Benny? That's my boy Benny, man. He does the best work. Benny, what's happening, pimp? That boy go hard. Hey, look, man, if you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical, beautiful, and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer and a fighter. Talking all this old school shit, look, the whole move relies on the fact that the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs that care way too much about flossing their lowriders than they do about paying homage and secret respect to yours truly, you feel me? So we gonna show them bitch-ass niggas the error of their ways. We gonna slowly and methodically re-educate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being said, we gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And assuming that you confused right now might mean we on the right track. You confused? Whatever. Come on, just get moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out. You're gonna need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you're gonna need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm gonna be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. <laughs> Damn, what's cracking, y'all? Man, I'm so glad you guys can make it. You know I love y'all, right? Hey, check this out, though. Is you down? I mean, speak now if ever hold your peace, man, because you be acting like a buster sometimes. Real shit. It's time, man. It's time to right some wrongs and to change history. Two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your Vago shit, and you gonna go spray some of them bars. And the two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your baller shit and chip some Vagos today. It's cracking. And you know, we about to kick off some pretty major beef in the city right now. You know I love beef, nigga. I'm telling you, I'm a beef vegetarian, nigga. I love that shit. And you know what? After all the shit is said and done, after all the mayhem, it's gonna be one nigga stepping out of all the ashes on the tin now. And that's gonna be the tall, handsome motherfucker by the name of me on moving gang. Watch what I say. Hey, come here, man. Let me show you these hot ass whips I got for y'all. We got y'all smoking fools in luxury. They ain't had nothing like that for us when we was coming up. Now check it out. You two. Y'all gonna get on your baller's tip and go find some Vagos and smoke they ass in this Chino right here. Yeah, boy, look at that fly-ass motherfucker. That's all engine. You can smoke some fools and get on. You feel me? Handle your business. And you two, I want you on your Vagos tip, right? And go straight down there to Covenant Ave in this Buccaneer right here. This motherfucker right here got plenty of get up. Smoke them fools and get gone. You feel me? <laughs> I'm loving this shit. I'm loving this shit, man. Lamar's revolution. Leadership with a friendly face. I kind of feel like a gang-banging ass cult leader. Like Jim Jones minus the fruit punch. Kill them fools, my son. Handle that shit. Love y'all niggas. It's your boy LD tickling your eardrums, homie. I'm riding with you. Now go on up and ride. What's up? How you doing? You feeling all foggy and ballsy? Nah, I don't even trip. I don't get that shit no thought. These rides gonna do most of the work. The foggles gonna see that ride and they gonna think it's the ballers. The ballers gonna see that one and they gonna think it's the foggles. Then y'all gonna hit those dudes and then they gonna go to war with each other. It's a simple plan, but not so simple that any of y'all dumbasses could have came up with it. Now get to it. Alright, you coming up on these Vagos dudes? Just open up on them bitch ass niggas, lay them all down. Word gon' get out, it was a ball car.
cars like that. Ha! <laughs> Fools that know they working for the next big man. <laughs> Frank and G go be laughing like a motherfucker when they find out this high intense gangsta shit we done kicked off. We out here gang banging like it's 91. Niggas getting laid down left and right. Streets covered with blood. And in the end, the only one that survive is the line sneaky motherfucker. And guess what? I plan on being that line sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> That's leadership. I'm like a gangbang guru teaching you niggas the essentials to laying niggas down. You feel me? Hey, now go get you some rest, man. As a matter of fact, when you finish laying down, why don't you get you a nice little outfit for my coronation? Because we going places, people. Hey, go in there and check out that boy Benny. The boy's a magician. Hey, what's happening, loco? Hey, you know that dude, Vernon, from the OGs? You know what I'm talking about, the dude that always fat mouthed about the old days. Come on, man, I'm ugly ass Vernon. Anyway, dude got wind that I was talking about my imminent promotion, right? And somehow thought that me being absolute ruler everywhere is gonna insult him. That's some bullshit. Look, man, we gotta send this dude a peace offering or something, man. And nothing says, I love you, brother Vernon, and I thank you for your years of wisdom and guidance, but there's a new dog in town like taking care of a man's legal problem. Come on, man, look here, the point is this. Look, th this ain't even like no fucking job. It's like you doing your boy a favor, man. Come on, man, all you gotta do is deliver the cars and that's it. Relax, man, it's gonna be cool. Man, fuck, why y'all stressing me out? Come on, man, seriously, though, LD don't do stress. He do regalness like a real king. Now, the cars is over there, dog. All you gotta do is get them and take them to this buyer he got that's gonna get them overseas before the motherfucking cop sees them for some totally unrelated crime that he allegedly did. And the key word is allegedly. Come on, man, it's nothing. It's easy, man. Shit.
waiting here. be so pleased with this. You guys did a great job. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Man, y'all fucked up. Man, Vernon gonna be pissed. Fuck. Look, man. Look. Okay, I'm sure. You try, and you fail miserably as fuck. But like a wise boss that I am, I forgive your bitch ass. Get the fuck out of here, man. Thank you for trying, man. I'll holler at you later, man. I'm about to go get some trees in.
man. Come on, dog. Shit. Why you slow dragging? Bring your ass on. Hey, look here. According to this online course I've been taking, nothing says leadership material better than taking opportunities, right? So what better opportunities we got to put the Vagos out of business than to go shoot up the funeral of the boy little Al that y'all killed in the drive-by? <laughs> yeah, I know it's distasteful and very, very, very early 90s-ish, but fuck it. That's what these folks understand, and that's what I'm about. This is San Andreas, home of Vinewood, man. We don't do modern here, my nigga. We like shit the way it was. Old-fashioned gangster shit. And with that being said, we're going to push up to the funeral and we're going to spray all his homies while they're in mourning. <laughs> I swear to God I'm a gangster shit guru. You love that shit, don't you? You love that shit. This is history and you part of it. So y'all get dressed and I'm going to hit you in a minute. Good luck, my nigga. But y'all don't need that, though, because y'all down with LD. Ha <laughs> ha! Move it! Get a job, buster. Vagos for life and death. They lived like men. And they died like men. Hey, you know how they say every cloud's got a silver lining? That's bullshit. Some clouds got no linings. They just depressing. And that's what this is. It's depressing. I grew up with these two. They were great men. Killers. Fighters. Warriors. Proud members of their community. Then again, some dead homies did leave some trash bags full of cocaine in the attic. So let's all stop looking so upset, eh? To the homies! To, to the, the homies. homies! And all that coco. Brothers for life. Yeah. Yeah. Now's the time. Go hard on the message. Stop this is only man. Show some respect.
That's it. That got us back on track. Check this out, man. We are breaking eggs. We just breaking eggs. We're about to make this great big huge egg thing. That's it. Lots of eggs. Eggs. Motherfucking eggs. Gangsta shit, nigga. <sighs> Poetry, man. That's what the world needs. A handsome, charismatic, well-spoken leader like myself. That's what I bring to the table. And lots of motherfucking eggs. <laughs> What's up, y'all, man? Thanks for meeting me out here. Can you believe this bullshit? Can you believe these motherfuckers? Man, look, man, I knew these Vagos was dumb as a box of rocks, but seriously, man? 
We've been terrorizing these motherfuckers, and all they care about is their cars, and they not yet worshiping at the Great Church of Lamar. Fucking fools, man. But a fool and his lowrider are soon parted. That's said by no one yet, but I just said that shit. Cause if you can steal them, we can use them to stop your friend and mine, good old Vernon, from murdering my ass. Which ranks depressingly high on his agenda, I heard. Wow. And I thought loyalty meant something. <laughs> Fucking people, man. Everywhere I go, I've been offending people or getting ignored by them. And that's some bullshit, man. It makes no sense at all. None whatsoever. and tell him I wasn't trying to diss him or nobody else, man. It was unfortunate. That's the word. It was an unfortunate mistake, dawg. Come on, it ain't my fault fools out here knocking each other heads off like it's going out of style. Come on, G-Man, you know me, dawg. I'm a hustler. I'm a gangster. I'm hard, man. It's families, man. And when Bernie cut me up with a samurai sword and feed me to his dogs, he gonna see families all inside of me. And that's when he gonna be sad. So come on, man. No harm done, man. G, man. Gee, man, what's up, man? You gonna say something, dog? I got enough of the strong, solid, creepy types with these here folks, man. Gee, man, come on, my nigga, this families.
to do with me, man. Seriously, man. Man, I told G, man, to tell... I wouldn't even lie to you, man. You like a father to me, man. You the big homie, what I look like behind you, bro, and on top of that, I can't fucking lie to you, man, because I'm fucking scared, man. You might peel my cap. Have me come up missing or something, man. I know how you get down with them fucking car batteries. Come on, V, man. You gotta believe me, bro. I didn't do nothing. This is what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna make it up to you, V. Come on, man. Listen to me. I'm gonna do it because we cool. Because I'm cool. Because you cool. And you know, I, I look. Hello? Fuck! Fucking asshole, man. I'm dead as a motherfucker. I'm dead. If I'm dead, you dead too. We all fucking dead, man. Fuck. I'm burning, man. This dude completely fucking lost his shit. Lost it. We gotta help this dude get his shit quick. We're gonna make a peace offering. That's it. Yeah, cause, cause, cause selling this shit last time, that, that, that almost worked, man. But this time, we gonna get him more cars. Oh, a serious fucking peace offering, you know what I'm saying? But it gotta be some shit worth stealing. Don't get no bullshit. Don't get no bullshit, okay? Uh, uh, look, I need you to beat the streets. You get out there and see what's popping, and, I, and I'm gonna see what it do, too. And, and all we need is a couple of fly whips, man. It don't take much. Just drop them off on the dude, and, and, and hopefully, shit, he'll kill me quick. Fuck, man, goddamn. Look, man, what are you standing here for, man? Go on, get with the shit, man, and I'm gonna call you in a minute, man.
right back to us. Gotta worry about low riders no more unless you try to drop some of that hard earned bread with your boy El Dito. <laughs> Yo. Hey, y'all got homies coming? Sound like it's a gang of niggas out here. Oh shit, it's the Vagos, they riding on us. Protect the whips, man, go on. I left a pot on the stove. I'm talking about serve them fools, man. They know better than fucking with Lamar Davis. And I hope this keep that motherfucking burning quiet, man. You wanna know some fucked up shit? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, and you're right. It's a cruel and loveless world we live in. A world in which genes get bullied by gang politics and overbearing assholes like Vernon stop talent dead in his tracks. But guess what? That's some bullshit. It take more than three lunatic gangs and no ideas to stop Lamar Davis. I'm gonna beat somebody, nigga, on the set. <laughs> 